the Chief Justice of Kenya on her own behalf and on behalf of the judiciary. They will be sending um, the formal uh, condolences to yourself. I'm not going to talk about who her sue was because everyone has actually stated who her sue was and who others who felt who her sue was and the issues and the things that he has been able to do. What I will do though is probably give a message. When I received the call of the passing of her sue, I was not in Mombasa, I was in Luo Nyanza. And it was a bit of a shock, but I thought of two things. Two things came to my mind when I actually received that call. And one of the things was how I felt when my late father as well passed away. And the second thing I thought of was all the dependents who her Sue has left behind. But I want to assure you, God works in miraculous way. I strongly believe the goodness in her Sue will be able to be passed on to those who have been strongly dependent on his goodwill. I have a message. This is something that I wish to be able to send out to the family of her Sue. After today and tomorrow and the day after, the reality of losing your father will start sipping in. The reality of everything else will start getting in. My message to you, stay united. Stay strong, stay united. And be rest assured that you have a friend in not only the governor of Mombasa, but you have a friend in the government of Mombasa as well. I will be making a proposal. That we will have a road in Mombasa named after the late Hasu. And I will be making a proposal that we will equally be having one of our ECD centers that houses children living with disability to be named after Hasu so that the name of Hasubai can be able to live longer. I want to once again on my own behalf, on behalf of the people of Mombasa, once again pass my condolences. I want to tell the family from the bottom of my heart, whatever it is that we can be able to do as the county government, please do let us know. I have a message that I'd like to read and I'll be passing it over to the family from the my party leader, Raila Molo Dinga. And as I do that, I also want to recognize the entrance of the High Commissioner of, of India as well. A message from Raila Amolo Odinga. I was deeply saddened to land of the sudden death of my friend Mr. Hasmuk Patel, a man who meant many things to many people and to our country. Mr. Patel and I were friends for years and a close supporter of a number of causes I was only in. He also offered much needed advice from time to time on a range of matters. In his death, we as a country have lost a man who left a mark in Mombasa, the coast and the country through philanthropy, investment and community service. Through the Hasmuk Patel Foundation, Mr. Patel proved that philanthropy is not an alien concept in our society as he supported the needy of all ages and backgrounds. Many young people attained education courtesy of scholarships from Mr. Patel. Our country, especially the coast, benefited from his deep belief in environmental conservation and thrift. Most importantly, 
Mr. Patel championed industrialization and manufacturing, giving the country the much needed foundation for economic prosperity. His prowess in business live in one of Kenya's biggest cement plants in the country, Mombasa Cement. He also left us with corrugated iron sheets in Kenya and Tororo Cement in Uganda. The transformation of the Kibarani dump site into a modern recreational park stand out too as a lasting legacy. At this moment of grief, my thoughts and prayers are with Mr. Patel's family and the hundreds who depended on his acts of charity and who are now orphaned. May God rest his soul in eternal peace, signed Right Honorable Raila Odinga, Elder Man of the Golden Heart. Thank you very, very much.